Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Tablescape. So today we are switching our Valentine's Day table from the floral, more sophisticated gray palette that I had for Valentine's Day to cute little Easter bunnies for Easter. Um, it is a little switch in the seasons, but I still like really spring, um, pastels for Easter, like Valentine's Day. They are very close in color palette for me. So while we are switching our table, I'm trying to not completely reset the table. So we're going to keep our silverware. We're going to keep our knife rest. We're going to keep as much of the centerpiece, maybe just removing the florals as possible and mainly switch out our um, plates and our salad plates so that we can see how it looks. Maybe if you're not looking to switch up everything on your table every single season, not everyone can keep 8 million different <laughs> tablescapes in their cabinets. Um, we can see what that looks like. So this is going to be a quick, simple change for the seasons from Valentine's Day to Easter without a complete overhaul. So let's go ahead and get started by removing the place settings since that is the main thing I know I'm switching and then we'll go from there. I just love these. If you watch my Valentine's Day video, you know that these were my great grandmother's and so they are very special to me. I love any time I get to put them on my table. Bring an Easter. Okay, so to stick with what we've already got, I've pulled some pink Buffalo Check chargers to match the gray Buffalo Check uh, table runner that we've got. I've got a little bunny bowl to switch out. Our condiment piece here. And then I've got pink Mikasa, not Mikasa, pink matte ceramica plates. We literally had the Cray version of these on my uh, table for Valentine's Day. And that is one of my tricks. So while my entire place setting of this is in the pink, I picked up four of the gray plates and a few of the white plates that way I can switch things out, have pink bowls maybe, but the gray works perfect for other holidays when the pink doesn't. So you might not need an entire place setting in a separate color, but get everything that you want in one color and you can always add a few pieces in a complementary color that works perfect for other holidays. From there, it is all about the salad plates. So while I only have a few dinner plates in different colors, I have lots of different salad plates. And for Easter, we are going with the bunnies. So these are little bunnies and chicks. I love this set because there are four different bunnies and they all have different looks. They're just so sweet. They give off Easter vibes without being specifically Easter, so I can leave them up for longer in the spring. All right, let's get this guy out of here.
Okay, so I switched out a few holographic Easter eggs. Um, they're really cute. When I originally did this table for Easter a couple years ago, I had a tall tree centerpiece with resin Easter eggs as the centerpiece and it's glorious and I use it every couple years. Um, but again, you don't always wanna do a full overhaul for Easter or Valentine's Day or every single holiday. And I just didn't feel the need to get out a big giant centerpiece this year. We'll stick with the one from Valentine's Day and just put in a couple Easter pieces. If we switch this back a little, that'll help. So instead, I'm just gonna bring out the larger eggs that go with that and the fun holographic glasses. Spice things up a bit. I moved my small bowl over with the larger serving bowl and we'll keep the pitcher for iced tea or lemonade on the table. And that's literally all we're going to do. So it's not exciting. It's not a big, huge thing, but this is a very realistic change. If I was actually setting the table for today and not a couple days, this is something I could do. So I hope you guys liked this today. I hope it's okay that it wasn't a big flashy overhaul. Sometimes in life that is more real realistic especially if you don't want to keep 8 million pieces of china in your cabinets. So I'm going to bring y'all in, give you a close up at how everything looks, and I hope you like it. I will see you in the next video, and I will link to that original Easter tablescape down in the corner here. Bye.